Hello folks. Um, well, we're back in the studio again. It's a roasting hot day. Anyway, um, sometimes I get requests uh, for people, uh, from people for me to make uh, certain shapes and somebody wanted me to make a tiered bowl, which is like sort of opening type bowl, with sort of, I call it a tiered bowl. Anyway, let's, let's go to the wheel head, get right down there where the action is. And there we have our lump of clay. So, right, let's go. I'm not actually sure. Can you get me the, the scales over there, uh, Jason? I'm not actually sure what the weight of this lump of clay is, but let's let's put him on the scales and see. Can't read the scales. There's so much clay on me. <laughs> well, we're weighing in at nearly nearly two and a half kilos. So it gives you some idea. When you throw, don't throw onto a surface that's too wet. Do up my apron. Okay, right. Let's get it. So, centering up the clay, we don't want the clay too soft, well we don't want it too hard either. Mushroom shape, nice and rounded. Now pushing down. Now I'm not really lifting this hand and keeping this hand down here, and I'm just basically moving my my hand down like that. Okay. Now I'm pushing my hand. Up like that. Now that was a that was a like that, and then pushing up really with my hand here against the side of my hand like that. It's a good little trick that. So now let's start trying to lift this fella up. Now at the moment, this bowl is quite, um, it's quite wide in the base, but for each successive lift that I do, I'm, I'm going to push in and reduce it a bit, like that, you see? And now pulling him up. Hope my head's not in the camera. I want to get my height before I get my width. There's nothing worse than making a bowl that you make too wide and it just poof, flops on you. So, pushing it on the outside, you see, see how it's reducing it? And now I'm pulling upwards and slightly outwards. And as I'm Getting wider, very slightly reducing my speed. Yeah. Now, when you water your pot, water it, but put your hand and spread the water around the surface of the pot. It's no good just watering it in one place. If another place, it's, it's dry. So, 
Now then. This is getting more tricky now. I have to be a bit, a bit careful because I'm thinking what well, I'm doing this these tiers. There's one tier. There's another tier. Not easy these bowls because you've got like a narrow foot, so it's whole thing can sometimes get a bit out of true. The shape of this I sharpen up later with with a kidney when I turn it upside down and put it on the wheel and trim it. How's it looking? Good. Still looking alright? It's never a bad idea to just get off the wheel, take a step back. It's a bit like a painter painting a, a, a picture. You step back from the canvas and, and have a look from a, a slightly different angle. So I'm thinking to myself, it just needs to be a little bit wider on the rim. Uh, we'll probably turn this, trim him tomorrow and leave him overnight just to Don't need to do too much with the stick at the moment there because now there's still some thickness oops down here in the base but that will be trimmed trimmed away tomorrow Well, got a little bit of a irregularity here, which has come somehow. Something in my throwing introduced a slight irregularity into it. You can see it's got a very slight sort of kink as it's going around. Well, maybe in the in the trimming, I'll be able to I'll be able to rectify that. I will hone the shape with the help of my good friend, Mr. Kidney. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, this I will put in here and crisp up and sharpen this these 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 shapes. Okay, just cut that feather off. I think we must be out of time. There we go. Right.